everybody, another Arc Survival Evolved. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you're at in the world. Hope you're having a great one. And please smash that like button to help this video out. Okay, guys, today I'm going to do another video on how to get to Rockwell's Terminal on Aberration. I did one, I did a part one, part two, I kind of pieced it, mealed it together. People ask me, they still don't know how to get there, so I'm just going to do this video directly from this area where I'm at all the way to the terminal. What you'll need is you'll need your tech gear if you're above a level 100. If you don't have tech gear, then you need hazmat suits, which you get at level 68. One of those two suits you have to have. If you don't, you're going to die before you get there because you are going into a radiation area, and the noise you hear in this video is radiation noise telling you that you're close to a radiation area and then it's just going to get worse and worse as you're going in there so you definitely need a hazmat suit or tech gear and make sure you have element in your inventory so you don't run out should look familiar to a lot of people because this is a common area everybody goes to see those circles here we are in a map here in a gps 44.2 latitude and 12.2 longitude so that's where we're at right here and it's a good starting point because you just kind of go down this railing where this leads and it kind of leads you to somewhat to the area. So you just kind of follow this whole rail system that they had going here. It's pretty straightforward getting down here. But there is at one point you have to know where to turn. And you just keep kind of going through these little diamond shaped things. We're going to start descending here fairly quickly here. But just kind of stay in these diamond shaped rings. And it'll lead you down to a river. Okay, and there's these diamond shaped things over here. You can see I took a slight right. And then we're going to start descending right here. Again, just continue down these diamond shaped rings. We're going to be coming into the radiation area really quick here. And you can see it down below. Okay, we're in the radiation area now. You see it down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen there that we are in the radiation. And you see there's a river down here. And when you come down to the river, you'll see this broken diamond shaped ring you just go straight you'll see two waterfalls in front of you if you don't see those two waterfalls that means you're going the wrong way that means you're going this way over here or that way look for these two waterfalls because as soon as you get down these diamond shaped rings you come to the water and you'll see these two waterfalls instantly so you go past these two waterfalls and you turn left at this area right here before the third waterfall. So this is where we're at on the map. Here's the coordinates. 48.2 latitude and 46.5 longitude. And there's the rings right there. And this is where you turn. There's a lot of creatures in here that would try to kill you. So be prepared. And you just go through here and pretty much straight shot. You're off to the left a little bit here. You can see it's already starting to look like the terminal. Got all the blue lights and everything. And then you just go up this ramp looking thing. I think those are my dinos right there. Maybe not. And then... The terminal is right here. These are all my dinosaurs. I got them set here for to fight the Rockwell boss myself. But here is the terminal. Obviously, you want to have all these in front here. I want to show you where the terminal is. Dang. You got too many. And there's the terminal right here. Like I said, you won't have all these creatures in a way. You just come up to the terminal. Access inventory by triangle, and there you go, guys. So pretty easy to get to. 
pull up the map. And then here's the GPS again. Now we're at 42.8 latitude and 36.8 longitude. Even if you have a flying creature like I have, once you hit ground, there are a bunch of rock drakes in this area. As you see right there, there's one there. That is not one of mine. So they're all over this little area here. So be careful and be ready to fight other dinos in this area. If you have a bunch of rock drakes like I have, they'll take care of them. But if you don't, it's, uh, it's pretty rough in here. If you don't have a rock drake, your other dinos will take damage from this radiation. As you see, upper right hand corner of my screen, you see the radiation. That's for my trope. You can see his health is going down. So make sure you really have a rock drake. Rock drake is probably the best way to get down here. I mean, you can maintain the health of the other dinosaurs, but if you're not careful, you will lose a bunch of health. If you're losing a bunch of health with the other dinosaurs, they won't be any good when you're fighting a boss. So I really recommend you using rock drakes to fight the boss. That's why I have all these rock drakes down here. Have any comment, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section of this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up for me. I appreciate it. It does help the channel in the video. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and turn that bell on. And I thank you in advance. Until the next video, I will see ya.